Hello everyone, my name is Metz, and here we are with Fears the Fathom, Carson House. So this is the third episode of this ongoing indie horror series. While I wasn't there for the beginning of it, it's honestly been fun to watch and like just just view through all throughout. The first game was actually kind of fun as a short standalone thing. The second game, like, oh, I love the horror in that, and just the constant red herrings and misdirects in that all throughout the plot. Oh, it was great to go through. And I can already imagine this game is going to be something quite special indeed. Seems like a lot of effort was put into this game, like from like some screeners I've seen. Oh, it's going to be a fun time. Home Alone, Norwood Hitchhike, and now going to Carson House. Oh, look, it's uh, episode playtime. Is that one hour noise? And new game. It's also a cool name, Fears to Fathom. September 24th. My name is Noah. I'm a 28-year-old male from the Midwest. I have no idea why I'm sending this, but I hope my story can be a lesson. This happened to me when I was 18, but I remember this incident like yesterday as the trauma direct dictated a major part of my life. For a little background, my dad was a realtor and almost always became friends with his clients. One day, he came home and pitched me a small job offer for the weekend. One of his old clients is going away for a few days, and needs somebody he can trust to watch over his house. The man worked as a, as a COO at a local media company, or CEO? Dad told me the man would pay me $100 just to watch the house and do some basic chores. I accepted the offer as I had nothing interesting going for the weekend. Besides, I thought I could use the time to get my schoolwork done. Plus, I wasn't picky where my pocket money came from. My dad drove me to the house. Oh, drove me to the house, but we're starting a laundromat? Oh, okay, oh gosh, oh, this whole entire thing ever feels so entirely cozy. Oh my, just dropped you off here. Uh, this is not really a, a house. It is like, are we just waiting here for your dad to get picked up, or? Hmm. Gosh, it does feel so cozy with the rain and all that. Oh god, it's gonna be raining the entire night here. Oh, I wonder how far we can actually look around in here, though. That's right. Oh. We can actually go in here? Alright. Uh, no, no, keep it open. Okay, then. We're stuck here now. What? That's a trippy dream sequence. Holy crap. You know, even though this is so surreal and oddly I'm a uh, creepy, it's still very cozy. Please tell me you just like slept and did not take drugs. Hello. Bleach. Uh, excuse me? Where'd you put it? What is this place? Who are you? Where did I put what? Where is the bleach? I need bleach. What? I don't know what you're talking about. I said I need bleach! Uh... Noah? Noah? Now time's over, we're here. We're here, you said you could do this. Wake up now. Wake up, Noah. Noah, wake up. Okay. Noah, wake up. Uh, hi. Math notebook. You still think you can do this? Oh, but yeah, I got this, Dad. How long did I do this off for? Doesn't matter. Can you do this now? Nah, yeah, I got this. Where really, you really called and said the keys should be under the fake rock. Okay, got it. He said it's in the backyard. And like I said, keep the doors locked and don't open the door for anyone. I heard you the first time, Dad. <clears throat> You don't understand me, Dad. Okay, now get your ass to work. I hope you know I'm only in it for the snacks. <laughs> just walk around the house and just um, raid the, the fridge and cabinet. Ah, uh, that's exactly what I would do. I mean, I will not do for people who are going to employ me in the future, okay? Uh, the house sit, uh, nothing like that. Bye. It was a nice neighborhood. Honestly, it actually does look kind of cool. Hello. 
just sprint out into the into the, the road to get run over. So it's underneath a fake rock. Why don't I get alchemy to the house real quick? A fake rock. A fake rock. Would we'll be in the porch? No, just went to trash. Where would the rock be? Maybe it's actually in the backyard? Okay. Let's see. That's a very narrow porch, right? I had to get the key from the backyard. Okay. I'll put the rock somewhere where it looks natural. Oh, there's a little dog. Boy. That, 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 that literally just says boy, not Roy. Oh, hi. Pet. No. No. Okay, you're a good boy. Aptly named. <laughs> Okay, rock, rock, rock. If I was a rock, where would I be? I don't quite see a rock anywhere. It makes sense not to leave and I'm uh, completely, you know, no, easy to find, but at the same time, well, where exactly is it? It's like wedge in here. This is the backyard, right? Don't tell me it's in the pool. Okay, we're just walking to there. Okay. I got a little wet. Uh, yes. Yes, you did. Where is the rock? I don't quite see it. I don't quite see it. <laughs> I'm stupid. Oh. <gasps> Frisbee! Come on, boy! Throw. Where'd it go? Uh. What? Okay. Um. I'm sorry, boy. The Frisbee just vanished into thin air. Fake rock is with the old dog house. The old dog house. Oh, it's right there. It's almost went into the, the wall. Ah, okay. See, oh, that's kind of, that's really cool, though. Almost missed that. But boy, where'd you go? Where did you go, actually? You just go all the way to the front? All right, then. Oh, nice. It's a nice place. What the heck is this? Uh, wah. I don't know what I was trying to use it on. Okay, I'm, uh, if we want to make some snacks, uh, okay. <laughs> hmm. It's a quite little house so far. Ooh, nice. Do not disturb for any reason. Oh. Oh, okay, like, he works, like, as a, uh, maybe for adverts or something like that? Huh. Interesting. Interesting. Definitely not trying to disturb at all on here, rifling through all your things. Okay, I'm um, uh, just. Um, I really had to pee. Okay. Let me just um, uh, hide away the evidence I've been in there. Alright. It's gonna help to get a good lay to land. Probably the bathroom is upstairs. Okay, so the connection to the living room in there. Well, there's no sign for over there. Rattles too lazy in a model of the garage. Oh, it's like unfinished? Okay, then. Okay, and this is the- here's the bathroom. Okay, now just go. <laughs> okay. Alright. Just get out of your system already. You don't want to pee your pants later tonight. <laughs> okay. There you go. Hmm. Oh! Yeah, the text message is back. <gasps> Cat. Hold on a second. I just had this weirdest dream ever. Thanks for taking the job, kid. I really appreciate you doing this. I'm sorry to leave early. Mr. Carson? Okay, hold on. Evelyn Cooper. This school is so full of assholes. I know, right? But I don't think you're an asshole. I don't think you are either. Let me call you in a bit. Okay, hold on. I'm trying to pick up. I really wish you could come tonight. Me too. Things you do to keep your old man happy. You know I haven't been a good kid to him. If your dad doesn't think you're a good kid, I don't even want to know what mine thinks about me, Raffle. I just think I really disappointed him with Kara. Not again, Noah. You just stop beating yourself up about it. Wait, did that bitch call you again? I just can't help but... Oh, that's a good story. But still feel so stupid. It wasn't your fault, period. Anyways... You got some, you got some making up to do here. 
the grudge next weekend. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. 100%, 100% wink, wink. Smiley face. Uh, heart emoji. Emoticon. Heart emoji. This little baby. No. I'm honestly jealous of Ava Raffle. I know, right? Just the weirdest dream ever. The laundry basket's everywhere. Real Carson. Huh. Okay, my bad. It's Roy got this contact from Walter. Work is getting really the best of me here. Oh, no problem, Mr. Carson. My pleasure, really. Haha, <laughs> he's my dad. I wouldn't have asked for anyone if it wasn't for Zeke. Zeke? Boy's been a bit sick lately. Oh, I'll take care of him. And the, and the house, now that I'm here, you have nothing to worry about, Mr. Carson. You are a lifesaver, kid. Speaking of, I want to remind you it's his dinner time. Do you get him his dog food from the basement? Right on it. Okay, that's what the, the little thing is there. Okay, uh, let's just close it for privacy. Okay. Nice little dining room and all that. Okay, so where the dog food be then? Oh, the dog food is downstairs. Is it the basement? Oh, yep. Uh, this does not look great. The basement was a little too dark. Is there like a flashlight anywhere? Or like, where's a light switch? Where is a goddamn light switch? Okay. Where is a flashlight? Okay. Almost forgot. I apologize for those lights in the basement. You can grab the flashlight in the storage room stairs. It's no problem. Okay, so upstairs we go. I always keep my flashlights farther away from everyone else. Keep them hidden in the attic. Okay, there's a room door. Jesus. I realized the house was way bigger than ours. Yeah, I already get the vibe. A lot. <laughs> way bigger than mine, anyway. I thought that was a person's body for a second there. Oh my god. Storage room, storage room, uh, bedroom, uh, nice sleeping quarters. Okay, second bathroom. Literally, you have full thing bathrooms with an actual working shower on both floors. God, these people. They're better than us. <laughs> so, the, the flashlight should be in here somewhere? The storage room. What is this? Oh, okay. There we go. I want to take a quick and look around here. Look at this! What even is that? I'm just going to send this bullets. <laughs> Mr. Carter's bedroom had this weird smell of wet clothes. Febreze it. <laughs> okay, maybe it's all coming from in here. What kind of claws is this area? Okay, then. Couldn't open from here. Okay, so it's one of those doors. Okay, open it like this. Oh. Mr. Carson's office looks like a good spot I could sit down to work at. Oh, okay, so this we come back for. Oh, okay, and that's where. We need to sit down for, okay. Let's get the dog for itself. Oh, it's a laundry room. Wait, laundry room upstairs? I don't know how I quite feel about that. I don't know how I feel about that. It should always be in the first or basement, okay? Smell travels down. <laughs> Let's see. Where was the basement again? Okay, it was right here. Okay, don't worry. Where is the dog food? So far, it just looks like a bunch of random stuff in the shelf, but here's the dog food. Okay. Might as well, I'm, uh, make sure there's no googly gawks around here. Okay. There's actually, um, you know, there's actually a lot of pl a lot of space here to maneuver around. That's actually kind of unnerving for later. Okay. Uh, let's just, uh, keep that closed. <laughs> okay. Keep that... Throw that. No, not there. Go, go on the. Okay, perfect flip. Okay. Now open. Open says me. <laughs> Vibrating. Okay. <laughs> just like opening a, a, a cat food tin. Just like, come on, baby. Shake, shake. Uh, come on, let's go. Uh, okay, dog food's outside. Come on, boy. Or Zeke. Oh, I know Zeke is the um, uh, new dog here. Aw. Okay. Hi, Zeke. I thought I heard a car. Hmm. There you go. Well, there's a can right there, so... No. No, just throw that. Have a fun time. Okay. Well, I'll keep the flashlight in hand. Got a math book ready for algebras, all that for later on. Okay. How's it going, Roy? 
Hey, kid, heard from Ulta your computer whiz, huh? Uh, yes, I do. I can program like the back of my... What is this hand called again? <laughs> my favor to ask. My computer has been acting weird lately. My whole security system is tied to it. Oh, you got a whole security system set up here? Oh, okay. What is it, like, cameras? Oh, there is cameras. Alrighty, then. Okay. Alright, so, upstairs. I'm already getting turned around. Oh, my. Hmm? I have a lot of ex have a lot of experience equipments laying around. Don't want anything happening to it. Ah, okay then. Mostly on uh, the, the advert, like green screen stuff up there. Okay. Hmm. Maybe keep things shut when we're up here, when someone breaks in or something like that. Okay. Was that a new message? Yeah, I understand. I'll just take a look at your computer. Thanks, kid. You're welcome. Okay, throw in the laptop. Destroy the equipment, Hoskin. Destroy it. Destroy it. Destroy it. God damn it. Alright, okay. I remember I was doing calculus that night. Oh god, calculus. Oh no, I never take it. I don't want to ever take it. AP calculus even worse. I did have schoolwork to do, but I wasn't feeling it at the time. Well, that's what they all say. I wasn't feeling it. Well, I get that a lot, too. Else Clark's Carson 5387. Okay, that's the password. Okay, for the computer, then? Okay, oh, I need to write it. Ellie Carson. Lee Carson. Okay, no, I have to remember it literally full sale. Ellie Carson 5387. 5387. 5387. 5387. 5387. Okay, nice, Rainbow OS. Woo! Okay, that's just pure nostalgia right there. Oh. Guess the fly.exe recycling then egg.exe. Nope, immediately, please. The system and counterfeit critical error. God, no, egg. Egg. You gotta break a few eggs to make a virus happen. <laughs> you gotta break a few viruses to get an egg. <laughs> In a browser. Free trial for a limited period. Uh, for full protection, a protected computer if it was one of our own. <gasps> no. I'm feeling unlucky. Uh, let's see, what can I look up on this to keep the internet browser history for, for, the, for Roy to come back and see? Uh... Dang, there's no internet. Wow, terrible. Like, I think there's actually no internet for here. Can't do anything yet. Recycling bin. Guide to being a... What? Restore. Guide to be being a per person. Oh, no, it's... It's those 90s adverts written by Alec Carson. Talk and talk. In this video, we'll be covering how to talk like a better person. Feel free to take a break whenever needed. I can't take anymore. I can't be that good of a person. Okay. <laughs> Step one. Don't be rude. Yeah, shut up. <laughs> the face. Don't be rude. Being rude will discourage me from talking to you. Being an asshole. <laughs> oh. Sorry, it appears that something is wrong with the broadcast. <laughs> what? In the meantime, enjoy some happy images. Doggo. <laughs> that was one. Step two. Remain calm in any conversation. Including when the person has no eyes. <laughs> he survives. Now, even though what he said was controversial, did you stay calm? The secret of being calm is not to let your feelings interfere with the conversation. Being calm makes you a better person. Work on the spelling mistakes, the capitalization. That's all we have for today. Especially that blunder. Uh, brought to you by Jimmy, Nick Rogers, uh, these nuts. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. There's a partner that really just wants to get antivirus right here. <gasps> Guess the flag actually we didn't do that. Oh, come on. Come on. Okay, fine then. Eh. Should we just get the antivirus? 
Fix, clean, and speed up your PC. Protect your system with effective antivirus solution. Uh, okay, do we have to? Okay. Yay, .exe, I'm gonna ruin this guy's computer. That's how you make a good start to, uh, to any <laughs> employer. Download, download. Welcome to Antivirus 96, uh, perform full scan. Okay, this is actually seems like it's actually a, a working, actually, antivirus. Okay. You should always trust the internet. Always trust it. Just do a full system scan. Three, six threats found. Security threat Trojan Oski A. Risk high. Remove. Threats not removed. Okay. Just get that out of system. And that should just be quick and easy. There we go. Okay, you're protected, virus update, and all that. Okay. So does that mean we can use egg? The project can't start because MSVCR 71 dill is missing from your computer. Try rest try installing the program to fix this problem. Well, I wanna play egg! Ah You're fine. I net seven from nineteen ninety nine to oh nine. Huh. Oh, oh god. There's even basement cams. Tell that to my kid, but oh, it's done. It was just some Trojan. I recommend you only download software from trusted websites. Tell them my kid. But thanks, I'll drop you a nice tip when I get back. I just have this weirdest dream ever. Ooh, what was it about? Weird. It reminds me of cooking with Jeffrey on Channel 10 last night. But the rerun must be on right now. You gotta watch with me. Wait, the place got a TV? <laughs> yeah, hold on. I wish well, let me just look a look around the cameras for real few quick first though. Honestly. That's the like the editing room. General front door exterior, the kitchen, basement, well, wow, night mode. God, there's night vision for all of it. Oh, God. I'm getting reminded of a of a story of, like, someone actually living inside someone's house without the owner knowing it. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh. Doggo's still eating. Oh. Hmm. Just want to get a good lay. Okay. All right then. Still can't use goddamn egg.exe. Uh. Okay, so there should be a TV downstairs. Uh, make a re. Oh god, I'm stuck. God damn it. Oh, okay. The the windows are all goods. Okay, coming down to rerun through all this TV. Okay, do I have to actually use the remote? Gosh damn it, it's too far in front. Ah. What the hell is that picture? What is that? Cooking with Jeffrey. <laughs> Cat food. It's on, are you watching? Cat food? <laughs> it's my favorite dish. Very. Spongebob. I'm gonna try some of this. Blah! We are going to gently pour the cat food onto this conveniently placed can on a stove. Uh, okay. This is the most surreal cooking show I've ever seen in my life. Sizzle the cat food. The egg. Fries. <laughs> Suckle on the eggs. Go suck an egg. Jeffrey really must be Jeffrey sometimes. Oh my god. I will be preparing what's known as a piece of cardboard dipped in milk. Tasty! We will need a piece of cardboard, a glass, <laughs> and some milk. Crash the glass and mix the cardboard start, in there. We pour the milk into the glass. And remove it out. Whoa! Next, we dip the cardboard <laughs> Also, I think you should get the groceries before it gets too dark outside. There's some cash in my might stand. Oh, groceries. Ranch, strawberry jelly, choco 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 spread for Alec, milk and eggs, get garden peas, get honey, rice, Uncle Tony's only, ketchup, don't forget milk and eggs, milk and eggs, milk and eggs, milk and eggs, okay. Oh, I'm on it, Mr. Carson. K 
cat chat. We'll be right back at this short break. Okay, I'm gonna be stuck at the grocery stores for the next one. <laughs> I already. <laughs> I'll give you a hand if you give me yours. <laughs> okay. I uh, shut off. Okay. Oh god, that was great though. Are you sure you don't want some a fresh pair of hands? Then buy some today. It'll only cost you an arm and a leg. Okay, so in your nightstand, let's see. I really just went past the bed, the bedroom. Come over from there. Yeah, let's basically barred off in here. Nightstand. Just one, just a twenty dollar bill. We can buy everything we need with all this money. It's probably just a fifty dollar bill though. All right then. If you're in trouble, get something for yourself as well. It's on the house. Thank you. I hate these ads. I'm sorry if I gotta run the dudes on my ass right now. Once we got groceries in the middle of the night. Okay, that's that's very rude of you. Yeah. Okay, let's go on a, go on a night out of the town. Okay, uh, where is the grocery store exactly? You can take Alex's bike. It's outside the garage. That's the garage. Okay. Oh, it's like the grocery store is that far away. Okay, let's see. Uh, outside the garage. Look, it's a bike. Well, there's no basket. I can't keep my stuff in. Oh my gosh. Time to crash into everything. Wee. Woo. Which way is the grocery store actually? This is a dominant position to stand right here. Let's go. Hmm. <laughs> I fell off the bike. The only reason I could have died that night. <laughs> 9:22 p.m. Don't worry, I made it to the grocery store safe and sound while being run over by, the, by a car. <laughs> Upholstery. Welcome to Nux. If you don't buy anything, I'll give you a knuckle sandwich. <laughs> okay. Hello, I'm here. Be fearful. Let's see, what was that? For the groceries from Ranch. Strawberry jelly. We need basket. Hi. Okay. Then speak of the devil. Turner and Andy? Oh, it's your friends! What are you guys doing here? Bro, your girl was here. She just left. My girl? What was her name? Kara or something? Dude, I said they're not dating anymore. Oh, yeah. He, hoped to, he hopped to that other chick so quick I didn't even realize. I don't listen to him. But, dude, she bought tons and tons of cans. Preparing for the apocalypse. I think she's throwing like a party or something. You know anything about it? Bro, she looks way older without the makeup. MILF energy, bro. <laughs> Ew, I think she's more like a goth. Goth MILF energy. <laughs> God damn it. Big <laughs> titty goth girlfriend. God. Are you guys done? When will you grow up, Turner? <laughs> Anyways, dude, what are you up to tonight? House sitting for the guy Carson tonight? Me and Alex? He goes to school with my sister. Her kid's a real weirdo. Especially since his parents split up. Oh boy. Yeah, yeah. Well, whatever fills my pocket, I'm in for. Alright, dude. See you at school on Monday, then. See you around, Indy. Okay, bye. Uh, your friends are great. Uh, definitely. Back in high school, Turner was the class clown. He's uh, a terrible class clown. He was very popular with douchebag pranks people and other kids. Oh, God. Loki, I didn't like the guy. I didn't hate him either. Oh, I see. That exact same middle ground. I sees. Okay, ranch. What was it? Uncle Tony's. Don't we need to get a basket? Do we need a basket or do we have to grab more things? Okay, I'm, I'll just... Don't worry. I'm just gonna throw it. Throw it there. Would you stop? Where else am I gonna keep, keep you know, get groceries? I can't. Oh, here we go. We can actually get that. Okay, fine. Fine. Okay, I'm uh, let me just break. There you go. Are you sure you don't want this? <laughs> Strawberry jam. Uh, good boys. Good boys, yes. <laughs> Let's just buy everything. Come on, get in the basket. Get it. Open up. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, I'm ready to buy. There you go. Are you not satisfied? Strawberry jelly. Thanks, choco spread. Yeah. Spready. 
Like, excuse me? I'm trying- oh my god, the, 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 the stuff. Fresh milk. Click. I have no idea where the garden peas are. Well, there was the Uncle Tony's rice I saw before. Clunk. Ketchup. Okay, ketchup bottles. Okay, uh, I don't mean to intrude, but I need to uh, get some stuff. Let me look at these sick balancing acts. Look at that. Where the heckity heck are the peas? Are these peas? <laughs> don't worry, we're keeping it under control. We're keeping it all under control. <laughs> no, wait. Hey, son, do you work here? Oh, okay, hi. Uh, uh, no, I'm just sh here shopping. Ah, okay, son. What is it? My son likes mustard. I came here looking for it, but I can't find it for the life of me. Do you know where it is? I think they're out of mustard. Uh, hold on, let me get it for you. Oh, how nice. You're right over here. Uh, where is the mustard? I'll, I'll help. But, like, where... I, I, It gives me more time to actually try to gosh dang find where the goddamn garden peas are. There's mustard. Where did you go? Where did you go, actually? Oh, there you are. Wait, is it the mustard in your basket? Can you give me one, too? Okay, I'll just... <laughs> Look, here, here, lady, you can just grab my muster right here. Look, I gave it to you, okay? Ch do you want me to drop all the stuff in this basket before doing anything like that? Okay, I'll grab another muster for you. Here you are. Oh my god, do I have to throw? Okay, uh, sorry about the sir. There you go, okay. Look, I need to, like, help this lady by just inconveniencing you for your life. Very well, there it is. Ha. Huh. Thank you, son. Okay, you're welcome. Let me just pick up my um, uh, little mess. Also, don't worry about it. I'm, uh, sorry, dude. Hey, quit it, kid. Don't worry about it. You doing good? Doing good, you. Doing good. Use a shopping basket. Okay, fine. I get it. I get it. I get it. Look, I can do meta trick. Give me free stuff. Okay, thanks. Everything. The garden peas are the biggest worst nightmare here. Exactly. Where are they? Garden peas, finally. Is that it? I think it is. Okay, are we done here? Can we please go? Do you want me to get more milk and eggs free because you said it twice? Fine, I'll get more milk and eggs, okay? Milk and eggs. Uh, here you go. More milk and eggs. Three more milk. Egg. There you go. And, uh, something for me. Um, uh, because I earned it. Um, a Jaderade. Uh, then some... Let me get some candy bars. Okay, fine. I won't get candy bars then. Uh, chips. There we go. I am good like a hurricane, apparently. I can't even see you. Okay. I, I can't even... See, well, guess what? I, I, I'm fine. You don't... I can't buy things unless you actually see my gashing face. Fine. Get to, Fine. D does this make you happier? That looks heavy, kid. Should I bill you all that for you? Uh, yes. Okay, fine. Well, there, like, uh, come on. Look, there. Mr. Carson didn't leave enough money for me to buy extra stuff. Oh, God. Oh, no. We have, to, we have to mooch off you people. Okay, fine. How's it going with a new trick, by the way? What are we talking about? A quiet girl. Like, quiet girl. What was her name now? Evelyn Cooper is pretty good. Oh, that's your girlfriend. I thought just friend. All right, good talk, bro. Can I borrow money from you? What? I I, I don't have extra money. Hey, um, uh, ma'am, uh, I'm homeless. Can you give me some money? <laughs> okay. No. Okay, fine. Okay. F uh, let's see. I need only take what I need. Ranch, ketchup, milk, choco spread, eggs, rice. Whatever that is, uh, or I didn't have mustard, honey, that, garden peas, eh, there. Chips, fine, I can't get my goddamn chips. So you build this for you? Fine. Wow, I, I literally all of it was just enough to only get... <laughs> Thanks for shopping at Nux, you have a good one. Oh, I thought the, I, I bought the shopping, the shopping basket too. Let me just, uh... Oh, I can't, God damn it, I can't take any more. Fine. Okay, uh, bye. Have a nice day. Screw you. Okay, uh, bicycle, go. Wee. 
See ya, suckers. <laughs> Scrape the car, bash into the telephone pole. I'm on having a night in the town, you suckers. Woo! <laughs> ah, such a peaceful night in the town. Time to take a quick little pit stop. I had to pee again. I was trying to feel hungry about around this time. Okay, uh, there you go. There we are. Okay. Don't worry, everything's all right as rain. Whenever someone tries, like, I'm, uh, like, break into our house later, I'll just bring the car and all the unnecessary, like, baggage at the grocery store and the, and the, the bike on them. Don't worry about it. Guess we just put this in the kitchen. Let me just, um, I casually am, uh, yoop. Come on. Yoop. Come on. Nope. Yoop. There we go. Good enough. Okay. Thought I'd get some schoolwork done now. Okay, if I, you said you had to pee and now you want to do schoolwork, okay, which is it? Which is it? You can do calculus while you pee if you really need to. Okay, I left the flashlight in the, the bedroom. Okay, get over it, dude. Are you peeing on the rim? Oh, God. Oh, no. You're... Oh, God. Oh, oh no. <laughs> it's still there. Okay, we're never gonna talk about this again. Never gonna talk about this again. Uh, just get some homework done. Fine. Andy, uh, what? Andy Reynolds? Dude, you said the uh, Carson's house? Your Carson's right, you need to see this. There's a Roy Carson divorce internet right now. Oh boy, uh, juicy details. Oh god, is Andy gonna be coming back here or something like that? I forget his other the, the kid's name literally was no Alec Alec sorry not Andy, Cars Roy Carson divorce okay f fine then dude I'll partake in the juicy dramas. Alec. Uh, no Roy Carson sorry, Roy Carson divorce. Roy Carson co-founder of BN Media claims to be receiving death threats and angered fans of his ex-wife. Oh boy, since we're in 29. Co-founder of BN Media has been allegedly receiving death threats from the, after the very public divorce with his actress wife, Alyssa Brown Carson. Oh my. Hunter News. It's not unusual for audience to be nosy about some of the celebrities' personal matters, but sometimes it's just too overbearing. We see something similar with the case of Roy Carson, the COO and co-founder of BN Media, after its very public breakup and divorce with his wife, former actress Alyssa Brown Carson, has allegedly been receiving death threats from the fans of Alison Brown for the rumored infidelity that underwent within the set of relationship. <laughs> they did put, you took a picture of where he lives. Oh no. Oh my lord. Sources say Roy Carson has had people knocking his door to confront him. Alyssa hasn't been very vocal about the situation yet, but Hunter News is actively trying to reach out to her. So you, the reader, stays updated about the situation. Oh no, as someone's at the front door. Oh god. Oh god, do we have to talk to you? Oh no. Do we have to? Oh god, I think we fucking have to. Oh no, we're gonna do with crazy psycho fans here when we're, we don't even know a single thing about this guy. Nice. Ah, eh, yeah, I'm coming. Who is it? You delivered for one medium size from Pizza Depot, sir. You must be the wrong address. This is 22 Boulevard, right? That's correct. Is there by the name of, um, Roy Carson? Yeah, no. If you if look, no. Honestly, at this point, no. Like, leave, dude. Honestly, just go. Like, Roy, tell me this right now. Did you actually buy pizza? I did the whole thing. Do we have to? I mean, we are hungry, but I'm uh. Don't worry, we got. We got dog food and cat food to stain us. Like I said, I got my schoolwork for Monday. Yeah, okay, let's go do that. Okay. No, dude. Like, I'm sorry to drive all this way. No. By this point, just no. No, 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 this pizza guy is persistent. Please open the door, sir. Okay, fine. Oh, no. 
Nope, okay. Why you, like... No, no, why would you ask to open the door? I open it, and you're nowhere. Are you literally... Wait. Okay. Oh my god, why are you standing away from the door, honestly? God damn you. Here. Uh, thanks. Well, the paranoia is already sending in well. Hey, this is probably a very strange request, but... You think you can wait inside until the rain's over? Probably not very safe to be out here right now, and I, I forgot my raincoat in the shop. Not sure my dad would like that. This is... He's upstairs. Oh. I understand. Well, you have a good day. Yeah, no sorry, dude. That's, like, even still a very weird request. Like, I would just like, request to, like, be out on the... The front porch only. Like, it literally, yeah. Plus, don't you have any more deliveries to, to take right now? Like, jeez. Jeez ums. Uh, okay. Can we just... Let's just, uh, get the food out of the way. Um, uh, everyone knows you need knife a knife to cut open your pizza, right? I thought I should watch some TV while eating. Ah, just like lasagna of the home alone past. Alrighty then, okay. Get some nice TV on with a stupid surreal show. Eat some cat food, eat some good old-fashioned pizza. Ooh, pepperoni, nice. The pizza was nice and hot despite the rain. I'm pretty sure the cardboard helped it. Like, just eating fresh cardboard with milk and a glass. Ugh, divine, like milk and cookies. What the hell kind of channel is this? Did you actually order the pizza? Look out for some pizzas. It should arrive any minute now. Enjoy. Okay, thank you for telling me this right now. Thank you, Roy. Yeah. The spooks. The, no, the spocks. No, it's the spooks. Nice. Tasty. Are you gonna eat the entire pizza by yourself? That's that's basically a mood right there. <laughs> Are you doing your work? I uh, no, you I have to spend the night in the dungeon if you don't. <laughs> if you tell me what the radius of T squared is, I'll think about sparing you. I'll think about sparing you. <laughs> My name is Jack Bardex. I have been held hostage by Mr. Holland for 37 days. <laughs> he makes me solve math work until my head hurts. Oh my Jesus. god. Oh, this is television right here. No. <laughs> Disembodied. Use the bathroom. Escape out the window. Uh, television right here. This reminds me so much of uh, just old like YouTube animations and the cursed ones as well. Jimmy, I've made you delicious dinner meal. <laughs> Jimmy, your fa your mother is dead. <laughs> now it's time for father son bonding. Bond with me, Jimmy. God, freedom. <laughs> Tasty. Good night, Noah. Everything's okay. Sorry, I got caught with work. Good night, Eve. Sweet dreams. <laughs> That is like a deep dish pizza as well. You're eating the entire thing all over. Oh my god, what did I miss? What the hell? I heard someone at the door again. Oh god, hold on. Let me, let me finish eating my pizza. Okay. I mean, the, the show is really good right now. Okay. I don't want to get nightmares from this. I took the... I knew I heard a knock at the door. I don't see anyone. Who is it? Yeah, I don't trust anyone right now. Especially after learning the whole divorce thing and I'm uh, getting death threats. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, no. Let me just casually, um, uh, look upstairs for the cameras. Uh... They went around the side. Where did you go? Uh... Do we have to? Oh god, that's actually terrifying. Oh no. 
It makes it even worse yet that I'm, uh, this is a celebrity's house. Oh god, do we have to? You goddamn paranormal goddamn mind. Okay, grab knife, blind them, then stabity stab, and if they take the knife, uh, bash over the head with flashlight. Stabity stab. Hopefully you keep your doors locked. Okay, there's absolutely no one there. Just making sure. Absolutely making sure. Nope. Okay, we're all good. Who is it? I won't ask again. I didn't know what to make of it. Let's not make of it entirely. Um, let me just, uh, hold on a second. Where is, uh, no, hold on a second. No, I need to find the proper place to put these flowers. And I do mean the proper place. There we are. Okay, there you go. Nope, there you go. Come on. No, get properly in there. Get in there. Nice. Thank you. Thank you. There you go. Right where it belongs. <laughs> I don't want any secret Myers right now. Unknown sender. Oh, no. Hey, how are you? What'd you have for dinner? Unknown sender. Uh... Okay. <laughs> um... I assumed it was a wrong number. Uh... Okay, I'm, uh... It was strange, but dismissed the thought as a weird coincidence and moved on. That's probably for the best. Okay, uh, can we actually get some homework? There's a lot of work to catch up on. Yeah, do your homework. Do your homework. Do your homework. Uh, get the nerves out of the way. Uh... 1.36 a.m. Oh, I thought, like, that was the alarm of the house going off. Oh, God. Well, I was in the middle of my schoolwork. The power went off. Oh, no. Don't tell me the goddamn... Oh, no. Don't do this. No, don't do this right now. Oh, no. Are you by yourself? Why do you keep ignoring me? Why are you always so mean to me? You're being very immature right now. If I didn't be like that, I don't need you anyways. Todd is so much hotter anyways. Who are you? Oh, God. The moment I was almost certain that had been another prank by Turner... You know, I wouldn't blame you if, like, that's... Oh, no. Besides him and Andy were the only people who knew it was house sitting alone. Uh... Why was there... Hold on. No, hold on. There's, like, the microphone qualities in here, too. Oh. Oh, no. No, don't do this. Don't do this to me. Wait, when that comes up, I'd be completely silent. Oh no. God, don't do this. Please tell me the power is outside. I think the power was outside around the backyard. That's the front door. It was suddenly very cold outside. I just... Uh... Eve? I got a little wet. Where... Where's Zeke? Okay, there's, I just want to be completely, utterly silent. Flashlight off. Don't know if anyone else is around. Let's not make any sudden rash movements. This is the power. What are you barking at? Zeke was acting very weird. 
Why do we have something have that power, like the microphone thing in the beginning? Like when we're going down the hallway? Oh no. Don't do this. I turn the power back on. Bring Zeke inside with you. Zeke? I can tell it's someone because of power from outside. Happy Turner. He was really starting to piss me off. Now, why? Okay. Probably not a good idea to bring it up at all. Come on, Zeke. Come on. Come inside. Let's just. I, it helps to have some company. Come on. Please. Okay. You're just going to stay outside? All right, then. Uh, let's just, um, uh. Can we, um, uh. Grab one of these? No. Okay. Um. Okay. This is for my own, uh, personal use. Stab. Okay, good. It's the rightful place. Nice. Oh, no. You said we'd stay friends. Turner, this is not funny. I know it's you. Don't tell me they're upstairs. Oh, God. Don't do this. I had to get my schoolwork done for Monday. There's a part of me that really wants to look through all the doors here. Part of me really doesn't. Walk as slowly as possible. Hmm. Why is? Oh God! Don't. That's actually more creepy that he have a, a changing thing. Okay. We got a flashlight and something to break it with. Okay. There's someone on here. Fine. Just do a quick scrub through. Thing in the basement. It said there was someone on the cameras. Nothing? There's absolutely nothing. Yeah, okay, there was absolutely no one. There's absolutely no one. Don't tell me they, they're they hiding one of the closets. Nope. Okay, um, uh, let's just get this... Let's... Let's just, um, uh, get some homework done. Turner, uh, get out of here. Okay, come on. Come on. Nope, I heard a squeak. Mmm! I can't back out. I had a strange gut feeling to the situation. I'm no, it might sound stupid now, but I didn't want to overthink things. That's the door's open, it's knocked over. They're all knocked over. It's all knocked over. Don't tell me we're going downstairs. Oh, God. There's nothing. Oh, God. I got my trusty spork! <sighs> yeah, I forgot that's the way through. If we are stuck in that room, we have to push over so many servers just to get through. I don't know if it's a better idea to leave the doors open or closed, actually, honestly. No idea. I'm waiting for the mic thing to come up again. Let's just, um, uh, nope, okay. You had the feeling that, um, uh, you were overthinking things. I don't think you are. Let's just, um, uh, go back and do our work then, huh? Please tell me there's a way to hide in there. Or, literally, can we hide in here, actually? 
Wait, why is there a thing to... Okay. We can hide in here where they get closer up. What? Okay, it's probably for downstairs. Or... Oh, you can hide in here. This is where it happens. Let's just, the second we see them walking up the stairs, we'll rush through into the other room. Lock, like, close that door, then lock it, then rush out. Anything still? No, this why is there so few camera like so few cameras inside the house? Maybe it's better if I actually close the door down there. Mm, I don't know. I hear the creaks. I can't back out. I heard something downstairs. Um, I guess for my life, I didn't turn the oven on. I don't know if I want to go down there. <gasps> There's someone outside. I saw in the window. I had to go down and check. What is that loud noise? I'm telling you there's a truck going by. They're just going into the house, turning on, messing things up, and leaving immediately. Take wide berths. Take wide berths. Door is locked. Oh my god, that actually scared me a bit. Oh my god. Oh god, I thought that was some weird monstrosity. The goddamn garbage bag. Look, he made me very uncomfortable knowing he was in the house. I just closed that. I had to confront him. Didn't have his contact. I can only ask Andy. Dude, you see your card says right. You need to see this. Stretch over a card. Can you send me? Turner's contact. I asked him to quit messing. Let's just... He's messing with what? My stuff. He's been stooping around the house. This is not cool. Let's just... Uh... Hmm? Dude, he's at my place right now. I attribute all that to my lack of sleep. We were gonna go to the movies with Brandy, but then it started pouring, so we stuck with sleepover. I was aware of being a tendency of being overly paranoid. Shut up, you. The logical thing I can think of times to keep an eye on the security monitor. Um, next best thing. Let's go. Come on. Now that I think about it, I should have called the cops. Oh god, you should have. You should have. By the time I was so engrossed my own thoughts that I didn't ever even enter my head. Anything. Doors closed. They're all still knocked over. That door is open. Where is the upstairs? The front door is goddamn wide open. Dude, wait, did you check out the article? It's Brandy who told me about it. Oh, this is real sketchy. Wait. Oh, no. I knew it. I feel my heart's gonna beat. I frozen stick in the screen, pure horror. Just keep quiet. 
and go into the room. I think a dash for it. right to the door of the room I was in. My heart would pound right in my chest. Are you in there, Noah? I really missed you. Whatever's happening between us, we can work it out together. Don't play fucking dumb with me, Noah. I know you're in there. Open the door, we can just need to talk. There's nothing to talk about. I've always been nothing but nice to you. You always treat me like shit. Oh my god, it's actually Kara. You need help, Kara. I know everything. I know you left me for her. It's di this is exactly why. But I love you. What about that? You need to leave right now. Oh god, it was your it's your past girlfriend. It's not even a, a crazy person about the death threats. Use her second chance. You know I could turn you into the police for this. Do it, and I'll fucking kill both of you. <sighs> I can't have you. No one else should. I got a knife. Noah. She's gone. I left the house and ran down the block. My dad called the cops. Though by the time they arrived, she'd already left the house. I knew where she lived. Kara was one of the first people I met on a dating site. She was three years older than me. I found her cute, so we started dating. <sighs> However, two months into her relationship, she started doing hard drugs. I tried to get her help, but she turned it around on me as if I was trying to change her. One day, I had enough, and I had to break up with her. I told her to leave and never contact me again. She was pissed. She was trying to convince one of the cops she didn't intend on doing anything wrong that night. But of course the cop wasn't buying it. Yeah, security cameras and I'm seeing a knife in her hand is all nice. Uh, 
They review the footage and it showed everything. The point of her entry to the moment she grabbed the kitchen knife. Oh, f oh god, there was a subtle thing if I looked in the kitchen. The monitor, would it, oh, it was a missing thing. Oh, it was prominently in the kitchen table. The thing that messed with me the most was the fact that the nothing was stolen from the house. Turns out she was heavily into the influence of the drug and alcohol at the time. She was arrested and sentenced for a long while. Oh my god. Oh god, that was good. <laughs> Honestly. Actually felt really goddamn tense from it all. Wow. Wow, that was actually really good. Probably could have seen way much more if I was actually paying attention to the goddamn, like, camera monitors and all that, but like... Oh, good golly, I was just taking precaution to the wind. That's how I would do. Special thanks. Oh, Jackson, the guy's on there. <laughs> That's nice. No. Aw. That's really sweet, though. Honestly. <laughs> game by Ryle. <laughs> it's a really sweet game, but really good. Really good. I even recommend, like, just buying to support it. It's, it's, this was really sweet. It was really nice. And here we are, back to Fuse the Fat on the menu screen. The Carson house. I could have made more jokes about the Carson was in the name. Like, there's a car, but we had to take a bike there, but I'm, uh, that was way too easy to joke. But honestly, that was really great. Oh god, I, uh, I can only imagine, like, how terrible would have happened if, like, we had to stay in the room or, like, made noise and she broke into the laundry room just to get in. God, I was actually thinking, like, 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 someone just be at the door, the only working door for the area, the way that somehow move the servos somehow, or just block the door and, like, somehow move to get out the other way. Oh, God, that been terrible and nerve-wracking entirely. Oh, gosh. And I thought something had happened with the basement, too. Oh, was like a bunch of smaller little red herrings everywhere. Oh god, it's great. The horror is great. It's a nice, great step up from from a uh, Norwood Hitch. Like God, just like the whole thing of a uh, Norwood Hitch. Like you think, like you pick up someone a passenger like, against the like, you know the main character's better judgment. No, your car breaks down and uh, you have to go on foot and you have to get picked up by someone else. That actually makes it ten times worse. They step up at a motel and things get even worse from there. God, these are great. And there's like two more planned out for looks of it. I don't know if like the developer is gonna do some more, but like, like they should because these are honestly really great. The aesthetic, the the models and all that, and they're greatly more improving their craft. And god damn it, the audio, the microphone pickup thing, it just honestly just absolutely nerve wracking to see when it's first introduced in Norman Hitchhike. God damn it, and I was so out of my mind when trying to figure out where the microphone thing was for the laundry room, second floor. God. Oh my god. Well, I'm looking forward to whatever happens, like, whatever comes up next in this series, and this was a blast to go through. So whatever game he makes, or the other indie horrors I can see to catch my interest, you'll see me right until then. So, for a fun time watching this as I am playing as, hope you see me next time, what time may be, and I, y'all, hope you a fantastic day.